whether you believe in spiritual forces, God, the devil, or even unknown things in the universe, whether you believe in it or not, there are archetypal forces undoubtedly that program our subconscious. And one of the most powerful and archetypal is the Dark Father, the devil, uh, the hooded grim reaper. And then, of course, you have the old man, the old wizard, or you have the maiden, you have the, the hero, and countless other archetypes that you see over and over again in Hollywood, television, the whole culture, because the establishment is aware of these things. And so I attempted in a short video titled Secret DHS Training Video Leaked to put out obvious dark satire. I mean, this is obviously not a real DHS training video. It even says that it's our production. And the public is so simple-minded, at least about 30% of them, in the votes on YouTube and in the comments. It's running about the same on InfoWars.com and YouTube. That A, they think it's scary and that I am really worship the devil. Or B, they think we're trying to deceive them and they've, 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 they've discovered the deception. It's amazing. It's like if C.S. Lewis wrote the screw tape letters that this is based loosely on, kind of gave me the idea. Would people then think of the famous Christian C.S. Lewis was a devil worshiper because he wrote a book from the perspective of a high-level demon advising a low-level demon on how to get souls? And I know the atheists will be commenting on this video going, we don't hear about God. Even if you don't believe in it, it's the archetype. It's literature. That's another group that, I mean, if you talk about psychic ability, which has been documented, there's a lot of fraud out there as well. They go, it doesn't exist, doesn't exist. It's just a way to shut down thought. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the archetype of the devil in this video that's up on InfoWars.com. And is the featured video on our YouTube channel. And I was simply attempting to point out that whether the devil is real or not, corrupt governments, the communists, the Nazis, countless others, Pol Pot, Khmer Rouge, Cambodia, they basically manifest themselves the way we historically see the archetypal devil. Burning cities, torture, death, war, black uniforms, armored helmets. It's an archetype. Planetary-wide in all of human history. That's what this video breaks down, and it is a tool in literature of the allegory or the parable, there's different angles of it, to illustrate evil by having a character play the part of evil and, and, and then manifesting what you believe true evil stands for, not the way evil is sold as cool or fun. And that's what C.S. Lewis does with the Ice Queen and all the rest of it. Do you, do, do, I mean, do you think he actually worships that that devil archetype no and then courage and honor christ the lion and then of course i recommend you read the screw tape letters the audiobook's free online you can read the book itself it's not that long it's an excellent book when i was a little kid my dad bought it as a book on tape on cassettes we listened to it on a road trip across the country really powerful really good literature regardless and it gets you in the mindset of manipulators, propagandists. Even, don't, even if you don't believe in the devil, you'll pick up in it how con artists and people who basically are buying into that archetype operate. This is important for business, life, you name it. The Pilgrim's Progress, written almost, what, 350 years ago or so, 1678. Incredible. It's got the devil in it. And from the perspective of his top minion, uh, Beelzebub, or the Lord of the Flies, as it's translated out of Latin. Again, they don't describe the devil in here because they're devil worshippers. They're illustrating the evil. And it shocks me that the public is so dumbed down, at least 30% of them, that, that they think I'm really a devil worshipper because I dressed up like the devil. Or if I do the Joker to illustrate that corrupt archetype, that's kind of a Loki devil style. That, 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 that that's who I am. It, it just shows the incredible shuttered nature of people. Uh, and it's very, very sad. So that's my basic 
breakdown. I hope you go see the video. It was going to be a lot longer, more like the screw tape letters about how they're breaking down the family, the GMO, the poison. It was like 10, 15 minutes long, and I didn't have time trying to make Obama Deception 2 to put it all together, the conversation between the devil and his minion. Like in the screw tape letters, it's the top demon with his nephew. And again, C.S. Lewis did that to illustrate evil. If I did a cartoon, if I drew a hand cartoon of the devil doing something bad, it doesn't mean I want that to happen. It means I'm illustrating the evil by pointing out what's really going on. And I use the archetype of what Homeland Security really produces, its fruit, its byproduct, to then tie that in uh, and connect it to the archetypal devil. And, and, and so I show some of the real crimes, a small portion of the globalist corporatist controllers' activities dressed up in a black cloak, so it scared everybody. A lot of people are scared. I mean, it, it's just unconscious folks being upset by the archetypal imagery that I'm basically invoking, and I'm showing you the trick so that you're aware of it. That's what I'm here to do. We need a conscious, awake people. The people perish for lack of knowledge. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. Please go to the site and watch the video for yourself and give me your take on what I've said uh, below in the comments. Thank you so much.